Harrison Ford, 80, makes a very rare red carpet appearance with his wife Callista Flockhart, 58, as she supports her husband at Indiana Jones premiere during Cannes Film Festival. Harrison Ford made a very rare red carpet appearance with his wife Callista Flockhart for the star-studded premiere for The Dial of Destiny at the Cannes Film Festival. The veteran actor, 80, kick-started his emotional swan song to his on-screen hero on Thursday as he walked the red carpet supported by his love, 58. Walking hand in hand with Callista, he cut a dapper figure in a black tuxedo suit, with a white shirt and large bow tie. Meanwhile, the actress looked glamorous in a plunging black tall gown, with a structured bodice and long A-line skirt. She flashed a huge smile at her husband, as they posed for photos together while leading a host of Hollywood's great and good at the Coat Dazzer spectacle. Harrison is set to reprise his role as the titular hero for the final time in the fifth Indiana Jones film, after first taking on the iconic character in 1984 in Raiders of the Lost Ark. The film, set for release on June 30, also stars Mads Mikkelsen and Antonio Banderas, and has been directed by James Mangold. Earlier in the day, Phoebe Waller-Bridge ensured all eyes were on her as she attended a photo call for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. The actress 37 was joined by franchise star Harrison, along with fellow actors Mads Mikkelsen, Boyd Holbrook and Ethan Isiter, and director James Mangold. The Fleabag star flashed her bra in a plunging white blazer which she wore with matching trousers. The writer added height to her frame with a pair of wide-open tude heels and styled her brunette locks into a loose bob. Phoebe portrays Indiana Jones' goddaughter Helena Shaw in the movie, with filmmakers describing the character as slippery and charming. She's a mystery and a wonder Phoebe, who also stars alongside Antonio Banderas in the film Told Empire, about her character. Making the film was everything I could have hoped for, with a chance to work on my own stunts and action sequences, she added. If the script said throw yourself onto the back of a vehicle, I threw myself onto the back of a vehicle. Harrison, 80, looked casual for the event, sporting a navy patterned shirt and a matching pair of jeans. Also in attendance at the event was YouTuber Joe Sugg, who posed alongside Harrison for a snap. The former Strictly Come Dancing star opted for a laid-back look, opting for a navy polo shirt and white trousers. The upcoming action film will be released June 30 and will be the final Indiana Jones movie. This is the final film in the series, and this is the last time I'll play the character. I anticipate that it will be the last time that he appears in a film. Harrison recently confirmed himself in an interview with Total Film. It was reported in November that Disney Plus was in early stages of developing an Indiana Jones TV series. Though Harrison insisted he was not involved with that either. He said he will not be involved in that. If it does come to fruition adding he's quite excited for fans to see the final indie adventure. I had been ambitious to do this film for 10 years. And there finally came a time when we all committed to that the actor admitted. It was a joyous moment for me. I think it's a rare situation that I find myself in. I've been able to deliver amazing films developed by Steven Spielberg and George Lucas over a 40-year period, and to end it not with a whimper, but a bang, has been my greatest ambition for this excursion he continued. Harrison Ford and Callista Flockhart are forced to sit apart at the Cannes Film Festival premiere of his Indiana Jones swan song and awkward seating blunder with Ally McBeal star placed in a different row. Thursday evening was all about Harrison Ford, but finding an appropriate seat at the premiere of his own film was even harder to find than The Lost Ark. The veteran actor was joined by wife Callista Flockhart, better known for her former role as cookie TV lawyer Ally McBeal, as Indiana Jones and The Dial of Destiny kicked off day three of the 76th annual Cannes Film Festival. It was a rare public appearance for a couple renowned for their love of privacy, but it was marred by an awkward seating gaffe inside the Palace Day Festivals, where 80-year-old Ford's fifth and final offering as Indy was being screened. As they made their way inside, Flockhart, 58, immediately noticed she had been seated behind her husband, prompting a weak smile, as Ford drank in the applause from those in attendance. Eventually spotting the blunder himself, he could be heard telling the visibly unimpressed actress, Look, you're right behind me before calling after her as she sloped off to her seat. Well, that's the way it is. Ford has reprised his role as Indiana Jones for the final time, after first taking on the iconic character in 1984 in Raiders of the Lost Ark, Dial of Destiny, set for release on June 30, also stars Mads Mikkelsen and Antonio Banderas, and has been directed by James Mangold, making a rare red carpet appearance with his spouse, Harrison cut a dapper figure as he arrived for the premiere of the newest Indiana Jones film, 
the first since 2008. His wife Callista cut a glamorous figure in a plunging black tall gown as she arrived hand in hand with the actor. As the couple stopped to pose for snaps together, Callista beamed at her husband as they lead a slew of stars in attendance for the premiere. Harrison attended the film's premiere as he prepares to accept an honorary Palm d'Or as a tribute to his performance as Indiana. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is set in the year 1969 following Ford's Indiana Jones set against the backdrop of the American space race. Jones is said to be uneasy about the American government enlisting former Nazis in their race to beat the Russians to the moon. Franchise newcomer Phoebe Waller-Bridge joins the sequel as Helena Shaw, Indy's goddaughter, along with Mads Mikkelsen as Jurgen Voller, an ex-Nazi who now works for NASA. Other newcomers include Antonio Banderas as Rinaldo, a friend of Indy, Thomas Kretschmann as Colonel Weber, Toby Jones as Basil Shaw and Boyd Holbrook as Kleber. Phoebe portrays Indiana Jones' goddaughter Helena Shaw in the movie, with filmmakers describing the character as slippery and charming. She's a mystery and a wonder Phoebe, who also stars alongside Antonio Banderas in the film Told Empire, about her character. Making the film was everything I could have hoped for, with a chance to work on my own stunts and action sequences, she added. If the script said throw yourself onto the back of a vehicle, I threw myself onto the back of a vehicle. The upcoming action film will be released June 30 and will be the final Indiana Jones movie. Back for one last adventure, Harrison Ford is supported by wife Callista Flockhard as he joins co-star Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Carly Kloss and Gemma Chan for the con premiere of his Indiana Jones swan song, The Dial of Destiny. Harrison Ford kickstarted the emotional swan song to his on-screen hero Indiana Jones on Thursday evening as he attended the star-studded premiere for The Dial of Destiny, his fifth and final appearance as the swashbuckling archaeologist, at the 76th annual Con Film Festival. Supported by his wife Callista Flockhart, 58, the veteran actor, 80, graced the red carpet for the first glimpse of the much-anticipated film. Alongside his co-star Phoebe Waller-Bridge, the premiere proved to be the most popular ticket for this year's Con Festival, with a slew of glamorous beauties including Carly Kloss and Gemma Chan, also in attendance. But while the night was all about Harrison, finding an appropriate seat at the premiere of his own film was even harder to find than The Lost Ark. It was a rare public appearance for a couple renowned for their love of privacy, but it was marred by an awkward seating gaffe inside the Palace Day Festivals, where Ford's fifth and final offering as Indy was being screened. As they made their way inside, Callista immediately noticed she had been seated behind her husband, prompting a weak smile as she mentioned the error to a stony-faced Harrison, who could be heard murmuring oh. The actor is set to reprise his role as the titular hero for the final time in the fifth Indiana Jones film. After first taking on the iconic character in 1981 in Raiders of the Lost Ark, the film, set for release on June 30th, also stars Mads Mikkelsen and Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Thank you.